So we just came off the back of finishing up with the RTX 2080 Ti versus the GTX 1080 Ti. I even threw in the RTX 2060 there, and that was from requests from you guys. We've also got requests for the 2070 versus the 2080. And if you're in the market for a new graphics card, which of these should you choose? And I've also decided to throw in the Radeon 7 to see how it stacks up a few months after release. What I'm trying to say is, let's just roll the benchmarks. So the benchmarks are finished and what a battle we had between these three cards and also the 2080 Ti. Now we'll kind of not talk about the 2080 Ti as that's coming well above these price tags of these three cards and then the 1080 Ti is sort of only available on the used market. Now if you can get a 1080 Ti for a good price I always recommend getting that especially if you guys follow the channel and you know what I do behind the scenes as well as on the monthly deal hunts but what we've got here is three cards that are in focus for me with these games that we tested here at either 1440p or 4K Ultra settings. And I gotta say firstly that the 2080, especially with the 419 drivers, it's really come a long way, especially since when I first reviewed it, where it was sort of trading blows with the 1080 Ti and it had three gigabytes less VRAM. And at that stage, DLSS and RTX features were in their infant stages and weren't working properly. But fast forward to this date, and this card is definitely performing a lot better to the point where we're kind of split in the middle, where if you want the better performance over the 2070, then you should definitely think about the 2080, but at the same time, it's still $200 more and doesn't really carry any extra features over the 2070, except just simply more performance in games. You still got the same eight gigabytes of VRAM, you still got similar RTX performance, DLSS support, but you are getting a beefier card that will pull ahead in games. So whether that extra $200 is worth it for that extra performance, I'm not too sure. I guess it depends on what kind of build you're gonna do. But speaking of the 2070, as I've said in the past, even when it first launched, it was like my favorite card in the stack because of its features and also because of its position with its eight gigabytes of VRAM, which is really good for 1440p, which is my favorite resolution for PC gaming. But now onto this big silver card right here, the Radeon 7, and that's also had some driver updates of its own, which has enabled me to finally lock in some stable overclocks and the performance was showing in games. However, the power consumption was getting quite high when we did start to overclock this thing. But ultimately, it's got that 16 gigabytes of HBM2, which although AMD has included it with the Radeon 7, I feel like they had to, to lift the performance over Vega, where Vega was kind of starved in terms of its memory speeds. And when you overclock the HBM memory, you got some big performance gains. So with Radeon 7, they've essentially alleviated any bottlenecks that the memory speeds may impose by simply stacking the memory with HBM2. And as you may or may not know with HBM memory, the more you stack it, the higher the bandwidth and memory throughput you get. But when it all comes down to it guys, which should you choose between the RTX 2070 and 2080? Just depends on your budget. As for the Radeon 7, me personally, I've saw some massive gains with the 419 driver to the point where it feels like Nvidia's just lifted the safety brakes off this thing. And it's performing well between a 2080 Ti now and a 2070 as when I first reviewed the 2070, I'm pretty sure the 2080 wasn't coming that far ahead, but now it is a sizable boost. And with that sizable boost, it is coming out well ahead of the Radeon 7 and doing so whilst using less power. And this card here is also on seven nanometer. So I guess a lot of you guys out there just like me are very curious to see what AMD is gonna do with Navi. In the meantime, this thing here does look nice, but it is performing a little bit behind the 2080 and the 2070 is coming in at 500 bucks. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this comparison today with the head to head to head. And if you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let us know in the comment section below though, which of these three cards would you pick and why? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. And also if you enjoy the content enough, you may wish to consider hitting that sub button. 
bell notification, and also if you wanna get that inside scoop before it even gets to YouTube, Instagram's down there, Tech Yes City, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.